Hello, welcome to Diehard United, the one stop for everything Manchester United. I'm here to bring you all the latest news concerning United today, as we have some news concerning Ahmad, uh, PSG's Javi Simons, and United's interest. Victor Lindelof on his way out of United. The new season fixture list was out today, and also Juventus switched their attention from missing Greenwood to Denis Sancho, and also some news concerning what the film is at Ineos concerning getting players early on in this transfer window. So let's go straight into everything. And according to the Manchester Evening News, it says Manchester United now regard Ahmad as one of their most integral squad members for the future. It is understood that United now bracket Ahmad with the likes of Kobe Minor, Ganacho and Rasmus Hoyland as young stars to super ahead their side in the coming years. That's very, very good news for Ahmad. You know, last season he didn't get much game time but in the little time he had he showed us a glimpse of what he can do for us on the right wing and as we are looking at players to sign on the right wing maybe we might think about giving Ahmad a chance maybe we'll have Ahmad and Anthony as our two right wingers maybe that's not enough maybe we need one more um, Ahmad is the creator on the right wing um if we give him a run of games, maybe we can see something different from him because we're trying to maximize money, minimize money, however you want to put it. Um, we need to send a striker, we need to send a right wing guy, a midfielder, a center back, a right back, a left back. There are so many things we need to do. So maybe giving Ahmad a chance next season might be one of the steps, steps we can take to save money. And also, if it doesn't work out, then we know that we want, we, we, we're ready to sell him, right? But if it works perfectly fine, we know that we have someone in the right wing that is here to stay and can do a good job for us. But talking about players for the right wing, according to Sky Sports, the news coming out coming out today, it says that if Jadin Sancho leaves Man United, the club are looking at targets for that position, which is the right wing, and United are discussing internally whether to make their interest in Michael Odyssey more formal or whether to go for Zabi Simons, who is also one player to look out for. Zabi Simons is a winger at PSG, has been on loan at PSV, did very well, goals, assists, very good season for him. He's still below, I think he's 18 or 19 or 20 years old. Um, it's very impossible to sign him, that's the truth. Very, very impossible. PSG do not want to sell specifically, they only want to get him out on loan again. That's according to Fabrizio Romano. So I don't see us signing these players, but also we are probably going to lose out to Bikaori State to Chelsea. And Zavi Simons is, like they said, someone we are also interested in. So let's see what happens with that. But I don't think we can get that that deal over the line at all. I don't think we can do that because it is very obvious that um, he's, he's, um, he's a PSG player. And PSG do not really need to sell him. So that's why they want him to go out on loan again. And I don't think we'll be, we would want to sign someone for the right wing on loan. I don't think that makes sense. But beware. This, we are Manchester United. We're going to get linked to as many players as possible. Honestly, if I want to bring a transfer show talking about players that are being linked with, it, it, we're going to be here for a long time because there are a lot of players, but most of those things are really lies. They are fake news. So we have to go for the ones that are more authentic, um, than the rest because today we are linked to a goalkeeper and we might not, United are not signing any goalkeeper. So why do you have to talk about, um, signing a new first choice goalkeeper? It doesn't make sense. So. Earlier today, um, the feature list for next season was released. And our first game is against Fulham, um, which will kick off on eight at eight pm Friday, August sixteenth. First game of the season. We're going to kick off the next PL campaign, twenty four slash twenty twenty five. Let's see um, how we prepare for that game up until from from now until um, then. In terms of transfers, incomings, outgoings, and let's see where we are at at. Um, at that, when our first five games were playing Liverpool also, the feature list does not, does not really matter much. What matters now is transfers and getting ready for that game, um, on the, um, on the 16th of August. So let's see what happens with that. And, um, the news that came out yesterday concerning, um, Victor Lindelof, he says that Vanabache are interested in Victor Lindelof. My that could be open to, to a sale of the 29 year old contract still available on the 2025. If Lindelof were to leave, it could mean United will sign two central defenders. Fernambache, Mourinho is there. Obviously, he was the one who signed Lindelof um, um, to United, I think from Benfica. So, he wants to bring him back to, with him to uh, Fernambache. That's fine. But I don't think Fernambache will 
will offer us enough money for him. But let's see what happens with that. If if Lindelof goes, that means we sign two, two center back. Like I said before, we cannot have if we sign Brightweight or Tudibo, we can have Brightweight, um, Maguire, Johnny Evans, and Johnny Evans probably is it is rumored that Johnny Evans has been offered a new one year deal. So tell me in the comments down below what do you think about us offering Johnny Evans a new deal. But we have Johnny Evans, we have Lindelof, we have Maguire, we have Kwambala, um, Kwambala, we have Martinez. Too many players in that position that we still need to go. And we can't sign two, two new ones without letting people go. Fan has left. One more person have to leave for us to sign another centre back. Let's see what happens with, um, um, let's see what happens with, um, Lindelof to, um, Fenerbahce. And then um, a news came out today says that um, everyone at Ineos are united. Everyone at Ineos and United have agreed to try and bring in two early signings this summer. This is according to a very good journalist, um, Ben Jacobs. Early, um, getting two signings early. Does that mean we'll get two signings before the end of this month? Because if we enter July, getting signing players at July is no longer early because the precision training begins in three weeks time. So are we going to get two new signings before the end of this month? Or even, even if it's one we get, that's still, that's something to go on with to give us hope for more. Because right here, right now, many other clubs are doing business. We're not doing anything. Oh, we, are, we know that we are talking, we are speaking with multiple club, clubs um, at once, fine and good. But we're not getting any deal over the line. It is very, 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 very important because other clubs are doing business. At least we can get a year we go. We can agree something that will be completed next month. That's fine. But right here, right now, we're not close to close to agreeing any sale or agreeing any departure of any player at all, which is very very disturbing for now. But it's not long; it's not too serious. Where we are seeing their moves, but we need to see more. But according to the report, it says that everyone at Ineos and United have agreed that you need to try and get two new signings uh, early, very early this summer. So let's see what they do. It could be Brightweight, it could be Olise, it could be Tolibo. Let's see what they do. And also, news coming out today says that Juventus. I switched attention from missing Greenwood to Jaden Sancho after some of the Juventus fans um, raised some issues concerning Greenwood. And we all know what those issues are. But it seems now, instead of, instead of Greenwood, they are switching to Sancho. So let's see what they do with Sancho. But even if they, they are still on, Green, on Greenwood's issue, Spanish club are leading the race currently. Valencia have been rumored to place a bid, or maybe they are about to place a bid, or... We know that Greenwood probably wants to stay in, in Spain because he had a good time in, with um, Gattafi. So maybe he feels like Spain is the right place for him. But we have know that um, Valencia are very, very interested in him. Gattafi also wants him. So let's see what Juvent Juventus do. Do they get Sancho? They don't want to get Greenwood anymore, no problem. But let's see how we can get offers for Sancho. Because yesterday we reported that many clubs are interested in Greenwood. And that deal is likely to go on first before Sancho. So if now Juventus are switching their attention over to Sancho, maybe we can get some, some progress in our sale, um, of the Sancho, which is very, 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 very important for us. So yeah, those are the things coming out today. We have Ahmad, who is looking like he's going to get more game time in the team next season, more role, more, the bigger role in the overall squad uh, for Ahmad on the right wing and the uh, Manchester, Manchester United are interested in signing PSG's Xavi Simons, who's also a right winger. Let's see what happens with that. That's if you don't go for Olise. Um, and also, the season fixture is out. First game against, um, Fulham at home starts the Premier League campaign on a Friday night. And then, Fenerbahce Murillo wants Victor Lindelof and Juventus are switching attention from Greenwood to Jaden Sancho. Those are all that's coming out today. Don't forget to leave a like on this video. Follow, follow, follow. Share, share, share. And I will see you all on the next one. Don't forget, this is Die Hard United. You want stuff for everything. Manchester United.